It's a very special honor for me to celebrate the inspirational life and times of our dear father, Elder Gabriel Kanang. And I'm here, I must say, in three different capacities to do so. First, as a representative of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari. Second, as in my own capacity, my own personal capacity, as a friend and brother of Governor Udom Emmanuel. And third, as a Lagosian, as a representative of the people of Lagos, where Papa Kanang lived for very many years and passed on to glory. Papa was in his lifetime a legendary teacher and headmaster, as we've heard who taught and mentored thousands of students, many of whom are here today to celebrate his life and times. But his greatest legacy will be his faithful and prolific spreading of the gospel of Jesus Christ through the Kwaibo Church, where he planted several churches, not just in this state and the environs, but also as far as the north central zone of Nigeria. Through, through his, the great work that he did, it was clear to all that not only was he a teacher and a mentor of men, but he was also a spiritual leader and father to so many. At funeral services like this, one of the favorite prayers is, may the soul of the departed rest in peace. But for many who are familiar with Christian theology, you will agree with me that the prayer is medicine after death. The truth of the matter is that men or women rest in peace depending on what they did before they died. And we know that Elder Kanang not only served and loved the Lord Jesus Christ while he was here and accepted him as Lord and Savior, but he also propagated the gospel. So we confidently say that today he is indeed resting in peace. We must also remember the children today, and I say to the children of Pa Kanang, led by my brother, the governor of Akwai Bomb State, that you are very fortunate indeed. Very, very fortunate indeed. The scripture says in Deuteronomy 7 verse 9, it says that know the Lord your God, he is God and he keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations with those who love him and who keep his commandments. Because your father loved God and kept his commandments, there is a promise of a blessing for a thousand generations, not just your generations, but it, not just your generation, but a thousand generations after you. And so we congratulate you on this great blessing that your father has left behind. The scripture says that a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. That inheritance, as you know, is not money, is not property, and it's not wealth of any kind. It is what your father has left for you, the blessings of a thousand generations, because he served the Lord Jesus Christ. And so I, on behalf of all of the three different capacities that I, I come here today, I wish to express not just my condolence, but also congratulations, especially on behalf of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the government and the people of Nigeria, to the family of Elder Kanang, our dear father who has gone to be with the Lord, and to the people of our Iman, and on our local government, and the great people of Akwaibom State on the passing of a great teacher and a general of the gospel of Jesus Christ, Elder Gabriel Kanan. God bless you all. Thank you. <laughs>